Recently, I discovered that we have way too much Thai basil in the garden. We planted so many seeds this year. So, I think it's time for us to cook a recipe that includes Thai basil. Compared to regular sweet basil, the Thai basil has a licorice flavor. It adds so much nice aroma and flavor to your dish. Today we're going to start with beef. This Thai basil stir fry is super flavorful and can be easily done in 20 minutes. We have determined that this recipe is equally as good as our favorite local Thai restaurant. But it's way cheaper when you cook it at home. Bear cuisine. First, rinse the basil and remove the leaves from the stem. For the beef, we're going to make it as tender as possible. You can easily identify the direction of the grain. Just look at the lines on the muscle. If you cut along it, it's going to be very tough, and if you cut against it, perpendicular, it'll be tender. To marinate the beef, first start with 3 tablespoons of water. Mix until the beef absorbs all the water. Another way to make beef more tender is you can add half a teaspoon of baking soda. But if you do this, I feel like you're going to lose some of the beef flavor, so we're going to skip it for today. Then, add 1 tablespoon of black pepper, 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce, and mix it together well. Add 2 tablespoons of cornstarch. That will lock in the water and the flavors we previously added. Then, add 2 tablespoons of cooking oil to lock everything in. Set this aside while we prepare the other ingredients. For the veggies, I use some mini sweet peppers and onion, so it'll bring some nice color and flavor to the dish. This onion's huge! We're only going to use a small section from it. We're going to need 3 cloves of garlic and 3 Thai chili peppers for the sauce. This is optional, but you can just adjust it depending on how spicy you want the dish to be. Slice everything into small pieces. For the sauce, add the garlic and the chili peppers that we just chopped. Then, add 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce, 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, 1 teaspoon of fish sauce, half a teaspoon of sugar, and half a teaspoon of salt. Add 3 tablespoons of water and mix it well. The sauce smells so good already! Set this aside for later use. Now, everything is ready and we're going to make some sunny side up eggs. If you use a cast iron pan like me, make sure to heat up your pan until it's very hot before adding the oil in, so it'll be non-stick. While the egg is cooking, you can use a metal spoon to gently touch the bottom part around the egg. After cooking long enough to where the egg can be moved around easily with your spoon, then you can take it out. I like to make it crispy on the outside while the yolk inside is undercooked. And this one just turned out perfect! Next, heat up a wok until it's very hot and add some oil. Add half the beef and then spread them out evenly. Only add half the beef at a time, otherwise you'll cool down your wok too much. The beef will become watery and won't get too much browning. Try not to stir up the beef until one of the sides is brown. Cook until medium rare. Do the same to the other half. Because we add cornstarch to the marinade, it's going to look quite sticky on the bottom of the pan. But it's okay. It'll be easier to remove once you cook with veggies in the sauce. Transfer the beef to a bowl for later use. And then add onions and peppers in. Stir this well until everything releases a nice smell. Add the beef back into the wok together with the sauce. Mix everything well for about 15 seconds and then turn off the heat and add the basil leaves. Use the remaining heat to welt the basil. It already smells amazing just from a few seconds. It's perfect to pair with rice. If you want a nice plate of rice, you can pack it into a bowl and then flip it onto a plate. You'll get a nice dome shape. Add the eggs and the beef. Voila, it's done! The Thai basil just really adds a nice complex flavor to a very simple dish, and it turns out great. This is one of my favorite dishes for the summer. The Thai basil is very easy to grow, and it's just a perfect herb for any kind of stir-fried dish. Thanks so much for watching until the end. Please leave us a comment below if you're going to give this a try. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell button to get our future recipes.